What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you are doing fantastic. I am doing well. I hope your melanin is on, honey. Make sure to go ahead and turn that notification on. Boom! So you know when another video is coming out. Follow me on the social medias. I'd really appreciate it. And also, subscribe, like, do all the things. And it's time for another What You Say Happen Now. Let's go on and get into some of the stories that have happened over the weekend. There's a lot going on. That's a whoa! We got to get back into me talking about the shit. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is I did watch Carisha Please. Y'all know I love the city girls, young Miami. You know, I, I love them. I do. And plus her and Diddy and they little love fest and they together, but they ain't. I just, I enjoy it. So the aha was I do enjoy Carisha Please. She is actually giving me uh, Shakita Walters. Like she's giving me what I need and I'm here for her journalistic spirit. She's getting better over time. I watched this past weekend. I missed a couple episodes, but I did watch the one with Trina because I'm the baddest bitch, okay? We have to give Trina her roses. Whoa, whoa, Trina. Give Trina her flowers. Trina the baddest bitch was on Carisha Please. And I said, like, oh shoot, I gotta check this out. I used to stay up with Trina, but then I fell off a little bit and I knew she got all love and hip hop and then she was engaged and I said, child, I'm not lost. Watch the episode, it was good. The way she was pouring. Ah, oh, seasoned city girl. Oh, new city girl. I loved it, I was here for it. She was like, cause you the baddest bitch and don't you ever let nobody in. It was. <laughs> Young Miami it was like, thank you, Jesus. But for real, it was like she was pouring into her. She was like, you better be the baddest. You better take all this money, bitch. Like, and she was like, yes, I received it. I was hollering, but I was sitting here like, you better pull, pull back in on the fellow city, girl. But it was a good episode. I was into it until the end. Child, and this is what I wanted to talk about. Because at the end, she always plays a game. <laughs> They got to the, or is it never have I ever? Either way, they got to the point they were taking shots and she was like, go to showers. And Trina was like, hold the hell up. I don't do pee pee. And Carisha was like, it just do something to me. And everybody was like, what? She said she enjoys golden showers. Carisha said she enjoys golden showers. Carisha, no pun intended, please. Girl, what? I, mm -mm, no. And then all of a sudden, here comes Love Diddy. He has turned back into P. Diddy. La, 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 la. Just because of that. And I'm sitting here like, how we know that Diddy the one P it all? The internet is undefeated, okay? But I think my biggest thing is Trina, the baddest bitch, even said, honey, mm -mm, I'm Katrina. I don't, I don't want no P. -P. And I had to think about it myself. I said, that's some different stuff. Just enjoy somebody pissing on you. I never in my life sat there and said, you know what? I want to try pee on me. Like, I, mm -mm, no, uh, uh, no, I don't. But some people, they actually enjoy that. They want to be peed on. Some people actually enjoy um feces, shit, manure, play. Uh -uh. Ew, what you want playing that for and then playing somebody ass and then... I don't get that. Mm -mm. I don't know. Uh, and there's some other play that's like, whoa, this is a bit much. Okay. My kink goes to a certain level. And then I'm like, you better turn that shit off. I ain't got time for that. That's crazy. What in the world? This is not the time to go into all of that. But Carisha, ma'am, you be blessed with that. That is, mm -hmm. oh. I oh, didn't know you like pee. And I'm about like one of these girls that I saw on social media. Carisha, you better stop telling all this shit. People think that everybody like that no do don't pee on me okay news flash no pee pee on me and my name i go by miss p it, it don't stand for piss okay <coughs> hell no carisha please what the hell shower cap are you in the shower is it a bathtub do you lay stuff down? Is it on your good sheets? I'm confused. Is it a little dot of pee-pee? I'm confused. Like, how does this work? 
I'm thinking too hard. And granted, I've seen some stuff, but why do you want PP on you? <sighs> Speaking of things I'm done with, Blueface and I'm gonna call a C Rock. I don't even follow them, okay? And I see them too much for my own good. Why are we so intrigued by them? Somebody fill me in down below. The latest mess, and I said, oh God, no. And she is preggers by this face that is blue. Now he's saying he needs a DNA test. I said, I'm confused because y'all are always with one another. How is, how is he not the pappy? And Maury, God bless his soul, I saw on the internet the other day that he's in his 80s. The show is not coming back. Let's just keep them lifted in prayer that they lose their phones for the next six months and then they resurface and everything's great because they are too much. She had to post three of her preggers tests on the social media. Let me tell you, what she said, okay? Because I can't make this up. She said on the social medias, I'm so overwhelmed right now because I'm deciding to keep it. She said she wanted twins or triplets because that's how many I killed. Blueface then went to the Twitter and said um, he wasn't sure if he was the pappy. He said she has had encounters with 10 different men in the last year. And until I see a DNA test, then it's not mine. He said their relationship was over and being his baby mama will be a blessing. Trump, this has to be like the hoodest soap opera I've ever seen in my life. Ah, uh, see, Rock, child, I didn't know she was only 22. Bless it. Ooh, she then went back on Twitter, child. Uh, this is some passions. Y'all remember that, um, you are my passion for that. That was my soap opera, child. That was some good TV. She said, I promise you, I don't need a cent from you. Then when we do a DNA test and it's yours, just know I'll tell my children you died so you wouldn't have an excuse to be in the child's life. This my baby and that's it. I'm resting. I am so asleep, like in heavenly peace because I'm sitting here like, why do some people have Twitter accounts? Some people have social media and they can just press upload. Like I don't, and we're just sitting here watching this, like waiting for the next episode. Like, I don't know if this interview was recent. I think it was with uh, Nas and Khalees. I'm going somewhere else with this, but it's in the same realm. And she was just talking about how she's just getting her coin. I think it was like 8,000 a month, but she said the baby about 58. And she just now getting the coin. Nas ain't been there. And he just getting money two years ago. I said, Nas here. You gotta take the artist away from the person, okay? But I'm sitting here like, how is this okay? She literally has been making milkshakes to provide for this child. And now you're just sitting out here. If I rule the world, I ain't take care of your responsibilities. I don't give a child. I can't. I can't. And you sit here. She foreclosed. And you tell her to go fuck herself. I'm confused. Like, how is this okay? What are we doing? What type of world are we in? I don't get it. I don't get it. The disrespect, child. All time high. And we just sit here and watch it and think it's okay. And like, it's a soap opera. Yet, I'm sitting here talking about this shit. And this is not okay. Last but not least, I want to talk about my man, Shannon Sharp. Y'all know I love me some Shannon Sharp. If you didn't know, I just do. And I feel like I love him because he be going hard in the paint. Okay? Skip. He be going hard. But even when he be doing too much, he's okay to come back and say, you know what? I was doing too much. My bad. And he had to do that because a couple nights ago at the Laker game, child, he was going back and forth. Okay, just making a spectacle of himself. Him and his sweater child was making a spectacle of themselves and he had to go on Undisputed today and basically apologize to everybody in his life for bringing discord to everybody. When I heard about this, I was like, well, what happened was? My husband told me about this because baby, he loves sports and he tells me everything that goes on. And I looked and I said, well, show me the tape. And they just, I said, what is he doing on the court? Shannon. At halftime, you should be going to get you something to drink, okay? You on the court with the players. They got to go back to doing what they got to do. What are you doing, sir? You should be enjoying. You, this, isn't this a night off for you, Shannon? Your sweat hair. At halftime, everybody had to be separated by the referees, uh, the security, some of the Grizzlies, bitch. It was a lot. My eyeballs could see. It looked like Dylan Brooks, the dude with the two little braids, he was going back and forth with Shannon. I don't know what was said, but they was going back and forth. And Shannon was doing a lot of this. Dylan was doing a lot of this. What, so what you want to do? And it was like, what are we doing? Then Shannon's sweater came into play. And it was like, Rawr. It was hollering when Steve Adams came in. Baby, ooh, that's a big old Game of Thrones looking. I said, whoa. Uh, and the way he was just moving everybody, I said, 
<laughs> oh my god. Here comes Ja Morant just scratching his head. I want to say, John, get, John, get out of the way. And then here comes Ja Morant Daddy. T. I, I was like, what is happening? This is too much. T, like, not my boy. I'm his daddy. And then they ushered Shannon off like he was at church. And it was like, what the f was this? Fast forward, he addresses all of this on Undisputed. He apologized for his behavior. He said it didn't matter what Dylan Brooks said 50 million times. I shouldn't, I should have been more seasoned like I am and realized the platform I have and sit down with my sweater on and realize it ain't that serious. Chow, he apologized to the Lakers organization, the fans, the Grizzlies, their fans, LeBron, his mama, his uh, sister, his new grandbaby. He even apologized to Dylan Brooks and said, I get it. When you're being competitive, you're in the game. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. the fuck up. Ja, it was a privilege to watch you up close. My stylist, I'm so sorry. I bought any shit on you. And I was like, actually, I doubt it. Because, you know, you was wearing the shit out of that sweater, Shannon. So, I don't know, Ja. But, and then at the end, he was like, in all hell, LeBron. Shannon, I love you. I do. But you gotta do better, sir. Like I said, have a seat. It was one of your off nights. Relax in your sweater and do what you gotta do. But I get it. You're passionate about something. You get all riled up. And then you sit there and be like, damn, I shouldn't have said shit. I wanted mustard on my hot dog. They put ketchup on it. Shit. And then I was mad at you about that. It ain't have nothing to do with you. You didn't have the ketchup bottle. You see what I mean? It just doesn't make any sense sometimes as humans. But we are all humans. We all make mistakes and life moves on. But baby, those are my topics for this What You Say Half an Hour. Comment down below and let me know what have you been checking out this week? What made you go, well, wait, what you say happen now? Let's talk about it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless.